So, can you tell me about how this idea came into your mind that you should go in Africa mm -hmm. and to work for this HIV positive patients? Okay. Yes. Um, well, I'm already for quite some years the editor of Omni Medical Links, and okay. being the editor, I received uh, some reports by an English homeopath, Peter Chappell, who okay. went to Ethiopia in 2001. And he just had a heartfelt desire to see what he could do with homeopathy about AIDS. Okay. And at some point he started reporting wonderful results by using a genus epidemicus method and a remedy that he had designed himself for that. And so that already raised my interest. And at some point he also asked uh, people to come over and I was kind of at the verge of doing this, but I couldn't make it realistic in my life at that point. And then shortly after that, um, I met him at a congress and there was an home other homeopath showing a case of HIV AIDS um, that had used Peter's remedy. And this man showed such a wonderful result um, that I got very interested. I thought, if this is possible, if this is possible in Africa, where 25 million people are infected with HIV AIDS, and where like 2 million people a year die, if homeopathy can really offer something for these patients there, then I, I would like to see that. So I asked Peter Chappell then whether there would be a place in Africa where he had been working long enough for me to be able to kind of observe and objectify his results. And so that's when uh, my colleague and I, Kori Iwat, uh, went to Malawi in 2004, and there we interviewed some 60 patients that had been under treatment for about six months, and we were very impressed with the results. Okay. And so from that moment on, I told Peter, like, this is, this is so significant and it's so important. Um, I'll help you where I can. And this, throughout the years, kind of grew into an almost full-time involvement with that now. And so I've given up my own practice and, and I'm mostly focusing on AIDS in Africa but also on other epidemic diseases. And uh, being in Africa and treating these epidemic diseases, I've come to understand also that we in homeopathy have made a beautiful development in the past decades in treating chronic diseases and individualizing cases, but that there are millions of people whose main problem is an epidemic problem, is collective trauma problem for which an individualization of the case would not even be necessary, but where a genus epidemicus approach would be sufficient. Yes. Uh, can you tell me that how this PCM medicine can be proved an economical uh, tools for the suffering mankind, for the suffering HIV patients? Yes. How it can be Proved, you say? Uh, how it can be economical? Because uh, I think you also know yes. that the medicines available in the current modern medicine, yes. that is too much costly for the HIV yeah, patients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's about the PC1? Okay. Yes. Well, the, and that's the ARVs that you're talking about. Yes, and yes, the usual right. ARVs are quite costly, yes. although already a lot cheaper than they used to be like 10 years back. Yes. Uh, but certainly in Africa, the availability of them is still a big problem. The cost is a big problem. To distribute them, to preserve them is a problem. There's the problem of side effects, and so there, there are many downsides to yes. ARVs. Yes. And with PC1 and with homeopathic remedies in general, you don't have these kind of problems. Yes. PC1 can be reduced very cheaply, yes. and we, we can treat a person for one dollar a month, which is close to nothing. And until now, because we, we founded a foundation that has received some donations, so until now we've been able to give the remedy for free in Africa. So the costs are very minimal. And another beautiful side of it is that the genus epidemicus approach of giving one remedy for a disease is something you can easily teach. In the whole African continent, there are hardly no homeopath at all. And to reach 25 million people that could benefit from such an MD, you need to train people. And so we can give a very short training and learn people how to treat epidemic diseases like AIDS, but also malaria and TB in a very easy and effective way. And it's almost cost free. Yes. Yeah. That can be uh, the very good gift for the man mankind. Yes. It's yes. A
I think homeopathy has a lot to offer for mankind. Yes. And and especially um, regarding epidemics, because there you can very cheaply and very effectively treat millions of people in a very short time. You know, whereas like in, in my private practice, I used to have one and a half hours for a new patient. patient. For an AIDS patient, you could do it within a minute if necessary. I, I usually would take more time because I want to meet the person. But if you would need to, you could do it within a minute. As long as the diagnosis is clear, you can prescribe it. See the patient back, he's doing well, wonderful. That's right. Any message you want to uh, give to the younger homeopathic generation or uh, to the visitors of modernhomeopathy.com? Well, what I, would, what I would like to say is that um, a good training in classical homeopathy is essential for every homeopath. To become a good homeopath is something very essential. And besides that, I hope many people will be able to devote their time also for the treatment of epidemics. Because once an agenda epidemic as a remedy is known to be very effective, um, we can reduce the suffering for so many million people. Yes, yes. And I think this is one of the purposes, the higher purposes, if you want, of homeopathy to do this. Besides that, based on the, on the theory of miasms, we know that epidemic diseases cause miasms, they cause chronic problems, etc., etc., later in life. And by treating epidemics as soon as they come up, we also prevent a lot of suffering. We don't only suffer, only treat those that are suffering from the disease, but we will actually also prevent suffering in their offspring and the other people that might be affected. Anyway, thanks for giving time with us. You're okay. most welcome, Paul. Thank you. Thank you.